after that. It's just been crap. Oh, I just rolled a dance roll for the hell of it, and it's an 82. Your dance jams. <laughs> Tried to swim in the square. <laughs> nice job, Andrew. You died. It didn't work very well. <laughs> I have to go back to Paulina. I forgot. There we go. He uh he sunk four meters into the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drowning! I'm drowning in the dirt! Help! I've got dust in my lungs! He finds the one square meter of quicksand no one ever talks Shit. about. <laughs> <laughs> And immediately plummets four meters into it. That's where we put the bodies that don't deserve burning. <laughs> I mean, I think it really deserved burning. No, he didn't at <laughs> all. He totally did. He was Tempest's, you know, sword buddy, and he apparently did all right in the last bout. I mean, he wasn't. He was a total dick, but he was good at his job. At least when Devil when Devin wasn't rolling. <laughs> ah, roll as far as the back, harsh mistress. As far as the backstory was concerned, he was good at his job. Just just whenever there was like practical application, not so much. <laughs> exactly. Fate just decided to take a shit on him for like the last two months of his life. <laughs> Poor Stig. Gets stuck in the desert, gets beaten by some fucking douchebag for no reason. And that douchebag becomes the god of swordsmanship because of that. Uh, and then, uh, just has to deal with Mercury for two months. Who would just kill him in the end. To be fair, we all saw this coming. Oh yeah, no, it was it was you or him eventually. And for some reason, Mercury is always gonna. Mercury, win. Mercury has an amazing talent for always striking first. Mercury is a fucking cockroach. Like things will happen, and he will still come out alive. No, Flint's a cockroach. Mercury <laughs> is. Oh no. I don't know an animal that's actually proactive in helping itself that just does it mostly by pure fucking luck. Drop koala. <laughs> yes. A red panda? Drop koala. <laughs> Are you talking about a drop bear? Yeah. Australia, bitch. Where everything just wants you to die. Well, at least we're not boring anybody on stream. Yeah, they all already left. They realized this was a sinking ship, and they went home. Oh! Oh, I can do it! I can do it! Hold mm. on, hold on. Mm. Everybody wait, everybody wait. Mm. No! No! Fuck it, we're still doing it. <laughs> ah. There he is! Yes, the sun who stares. Uh, the person who stares at the sun. The sun who stares. <laughs> stares at sun. Yeah, if, you were my, if you were my dad, you could say that. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, um, so Paulina was walking with the guard toward Dante and more information <laughs> when she saw you and Andrew standing there. So she came over and fucking tried to push your shoulder so that you would look at her, which didn't really do anything Ten because you're very. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like. Ugh. Also, Richard, that is the best gift. So, ugh. What happened? What? what? <laughs> she looks like she's about to strike you and she just doesn't know how to work her hands. She looks like she's become functionally retarded for just how mad she is right now. This reminds me of when Richard and I would play basketball. If I put basketball, I mean, he would hold the ball high enough to the point where I couldn't pick it up. <laughs> Douche. No, you should just stare at her and be like, you remind me of Stig right now. Your functional <gasps> oh, retardation. Oh, shit, son. <laughs> and then you apply the salve. <laughs> <laughs> apply it uh, vigorously. The to last the time I saw him alive was with you. What happened? Um, 
That motherfucker set me on fire. I can't, I kind of look down at all my armor. Do you notice the charredness? No. What happened? Well, he set me on fire. And? Paid the price. I don't know if I'd announce that. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> Apparently we're getting rid of Paulina today too. <laughs> so you killed him. I didn't kill him. I was on fire. Do I have logic? Andrew helped me put it out. I have logic at 15. I believe in you. <laughs> Not gonna work out for me. What do you mean he paid the price? Now he's on fire. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm dying. This is why I need to be a player character who's just that asshole. <laughs> that actually really works very oh well. Did you just say that? Did you just want to actually say that? No, I just, death. I just kind of, I, I mean, and then I point at the pyre. Look, generally, when you set someone on fire and scream, help me, help me, he just set me on fire, stuff's not going to go very well for that person. Um, I realize that she's smaller than you, but she's also not thinking very clearly. Are you just wearing your armor? Are you wearing a cloak? Is there anything you're wearing that she can actually, like, grab onto? I've got all my gear on all the time. All the belts, his uh, overshirt. All gear, all the time. So she just grabs weapons. anything she can that is basically in your chestal area and mm. just tries tries her best to like pull herself pull you down there but she probably actually pulls herself up onto you <laughs> hey yep. he is single that's <laughs> right. right get up here baby <laughs> you can call me stig all you want i like it when you're working for it <laughs> I'm your dead so boyfriend. She's, she's, I'm your dead boyfriend. She's becoming half crazed now and like slightly hysterical. So in this weird tone between like I'm about to cry because everything in my life that has ever made me happy is gone and I'm so mad I'm going to try to kill you. She's like, what happened to him? Um... I'm listening intently to this, by the way. <laughs> Well, all I can really remember is being lit on fire, and then Andrew helped me put it out with some sand, and I think he had water from somewhere. I can't really remember. Um, and then I chased after Stig into a crowd and found him dead. Damn it, I don't have scrutiny. <laughs> Seriously? That's actually uh, the story, though. Basic. I still have it. Oh, is that actually what Flint believes? I don't know if it's what he believes, but it's factually accurate. Yes, it is. Okay, but you can totally <laughs> tell lies with factual accuracy. You Time can. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and roll my perception anyway, even though it's six, or roll my scrutiny at 16. Okay. It's not gonna... Uh, How do you not have um, scrutiny? Oh. She's oh because, scums don't uh, get I'm it not... for a long time. Of course, um, I don't have scrutiny either. So, uh, do I get any kind of positive modifier for being angry as hell and suspicious? Since he no. literally said he got what he was coming to him. No, because he's at he's lying by omission, which would be much okay. harder to actually figure out. Fair enough. You totally, <laughs> you completely believe him. That, can you I believe that's what happened. What? Can yeah, I you can re-roll if you want. Sure. Let's see if I believe him even more after this. Nice. <laughs> you, are, you are convinced he is telling you the truth. She just kind of lets go and looks very upset. 
Look, I am sorry for your loss, Paulina. And as much as it pains me to say I'm sorry, since I really have no sympathy for a man who tried to set me on fire, I am sorry for your hurt. She's trying very hard not to cry. She says... He should not have set you on fire. I'm sorry. Nope. I apologize. You really shouldn't have. <laughs> nope. <laughs> he, just, he shouldn't have set you on fire. Um, it was so good. <laughs> but then, he shouldn't have done it. <laughs> and, then clicks, and then something clicks in her head. And she looks up at him. He's just like, wait, you said Andrew? Who's Andrew? Uh, hi. <clears throat> you put him out? Yeah. Where did you meet him? I just kind of saw this guy on fire screaming, help me, I'm on fire. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> I did what any decent stiff. person would do. Well, that's great. Flint, can I have a word with you? Just, just you for just a second. Sure. So she pulls him away from Andrew and says in a very low, t low tone, was it Jubal's men who killed him? Like I said, I don't know. <sighs> then she looks around. Wait. Where's... And she makes funny hand motions at the top of her head. Merc? Yeah. The funny looking one. Isn't he, like, always with you? Yeah, he's currently following up on a lead. He said it was really, really important. You mean he's trying to find Stig's killer too? Possibly. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> she, she looks slightly mollified by this. Good. If you or Merc hear anything, please let me know. And she she actually looks and she and then she looks down her hands. I'm sorry I tried to grab your clothes and I'm I'm just very upset right now. It's okay. You weren't gonna do much anyways. I pat her on the head. <laughs> <laughs> she accepts it's true. <laughs> uh, I'm going to continue my own investigation. Where can I find you again if I need you? Uh, the house. Bob's. <laughs> You're still staying there? Mm-hmm. Okay. And the couch and all glory is still there. Okay. And she just kind of turns away. She can't handle this conversation anymore. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Goes back to the garden and says, let's go. And just starts walking ahead of the garden to the palace. Good. Richard, let's face it. We're never going to get this party together. I oh, know it's it's so gonna happen. Ever. It may take all of you dying like three more times, but eventually <laughs> you will roll characters that actually match. Yeah, we'll roll fucking tier one characters. Well, except for I mean, Mercury and Flint, who will be. If we all die three times, they're rolling tier <laughs> ones. No, no, you all die three times. Mercury's still fine. He's not here right now. <laughs> you are all as amoeba, and he is. Your lord and savior, Mercury. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, fuck said that. I, I was capping. dying. <laughs> well, I yeah. Capping. Well. Light the house on fire. I mean, we've basically solidified, thanks to Flint and my very poor roles, that uh, <laughs> Merc's probably not the guy who killed Stig, and Paulina <laughs> is totally on board with sticking with the party right now, because... Until she figures know. that out somehow. I wonder how I that's really going to happen. Know. Somebody better say it. All this info. <laughs> I mean, yes, obviously, Lena doesn't have know you. Putting Flint out. So, uh, yeah, that's, what that's are what the three doing. of you guys doing since Paulina's heading to the palace? Well, that was weird. Also, something that just crossed my mind, uh, Stephen, how loyal is Andrew to Jubal? Yeah. Semi? No information. There's your answer. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime anyone answers with eh. <laughs> you know, let, let, like we were talking.